vibrant people, eclectic cultures, natural wonders. The Caribbean region is home to unparalleled beauty and so much untapped potential. Unfortunately, a dependence on imported fossil fuels and exposure to the disastrous impacts of climate change are putting the region at risk. Fluctuating fuel prices drive up gas and electricity costs. Unstable power supplies disrupt everyday life and increasingly powerful hurricanes, flooding and drought leave devastation in their wake. To protect the Caribbean way of life, the region must shift to a low carbon, sustainable and climate compatible energy sector. That change begins with sound policies and regulations, solid frameworks to guide CARICOM nations as they develop the renewable energy and energy efficiency solutions they need for their people to thrive. At the Technical Assistance Program for Sustainable Energy in the Caribbean, we worked to bridge the gap between policies and people. Even though it's not as exciting, it's a bit of everything. So you find that um, policy mechanisms often transcend what we consider the policy space. And you've built into it a bit of capacity building, a bit of um, sustainable energy financing to be able to support actually achieving the goals that you've outlined in the policy. It sets the tone and it provides a sort of step-by-step -step guide as to how we would accomplish what we want to accomplish. We partnered with regional and national organizations, supporting their efforts to build a future where every CARICOM citizen has access to the affordable, sustainable and reliable energy supply they deserve. To help lower the cost of electricity bills and ease the demand on national power grids, we created 15 national energy efficiency strategies and one regional energy efficiency strategy and action plan, tailored specifically to each CARICOM member state and the wider region's needs. These documents provide detailed guidelines for creating the kinds of policies that will drive down electricity costs and help create a stable power supply for all CARICOM citizens. In response to rising gas prices and the toxic effects of gasoline and diesel vehicles on the people and environment of the Caribbean, TAPSEC supported the Caribbean Center for Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency as they encouraged a regional shift towards electric vehicles. The Regional Electric Vehicle Strategy Framework, also known as REVS, is a roadmap that any CARICOM country can follow to help its citizens access EV technology and reduce the destructive impacts of unpredictable fuel prices and dangerous greenhouse gases. To assist CARICOM nations with creating the sustainable energy policies that will most benefit their citizens, we partnered with the CARICOM Secretariat to create the CARICOM Policy and Regulations Help Desk. The first of its kind, this facility supported member states' efforts to adapt by providing technical support to nine projects designed to improve sustainability across the region. The TAPSEC Regulations Help Desk has been a real success. From electric vehicle strategy for the region and e-mobility market assessments in Guyana and Belize, to studies for establishment of tariff regimes in some kits, support to utilities to increase their performance and better serve the customers and many other interventions. The help desk has been a reference for the energy policy sector and decision makers in the Caribbean for the last years.
in support of homeowners and small business owners who have struggled to access the kind of technology that can cut their energy costs, TAPSEC launched the Integrated Utility Service Pilot Program. With the IUS, consumers can access cost-cutting technology like LED lighting, energy-efficient air conditioning, and solar PV systems through financing provided by their utility companies and repaid through their monthly utility bills. Through these projects and so many more, we have supported regional and national organizations as they strive to create a Caribbean in which its people, cultures, and environment are protected from the hazards that threaten it. The end result, lower energy costs, a dependable power supply, and a region ready to withstand and adapt to the effects of a change in climate. That sounds like a Caribbean region with a bright future. <music>